Hello friends, in this segment we will be studying elasticity of demand. Now what do you mean by elasticity at first place? Before understanding, let's first understand what does elasticity mean. I'll just give you an example. What do you think? Is this elastic? It is not. And is this elastic? Yes, it is. Why do we call it elastic? Because it stretches when I apply an external force on it. When I pull it, it gets stretched. Thus, we call it elastic. Now, let's assume this to be demand. If I apply external forces, that is change in price or change in income levels or change in the price of related goods. What happens is this external force brings about a change in demand and when these other factors bring about a change in demand, we say that the demand of the product is elastic. However, if these factors are not able to bring about a change in demand, we say that the demand of the product is inelastic. So after understanding the elasticity, the meaning of elasticity, let's understand what does elasticity of demand actually mean and why do we need to study this topic. Now law of demand is basically a qualitative statement. It tells us the quality of the behavior of demand to price. How does demand behave with a change in price. However, it does not tell us how much. It only tells us that demand will change. How much it will change? We do not know. We cannot know it from the law of demand. Thus, we call law of demand a qualitative law or a qualitative statement. However, with the help of elasticity of demand, we can know how much will demand change or in other words we can quantify quantify the change in demand thus elasticity of demand is a quantitative concept it tells you the amount of change or the degree of change in demand 